My name is Renee. I lived happily with mommy and daddy. I love toys, all kinds of them. On my birthday, mommy made a doll just for me. I hug it every night to sleep. I love the doll so much. And I love daddy and mommy so much. But something happened. Something really, really bad. The very next day, there was what they called a funeral. The only person at the funeral was an old lady. She said she was my grandma and that mommy and daddy have passed away. Grandma said that I had to move in with her and we were in a, on a car to her house right after the funeral. I only had the doll with me. I had lost everything else. Mommy and daddy were gone. Grandma's house was big. I was given new clothes, lots of toys and dolls in my own doll room. Everything I couldn't have before. And it has been six months since. That was a fast funeral. Renee, uh, don't you worry, little angel. Soon I will find your other wing and you'll be able to fly again. Oh, her doll broke. Renee, or Grandma, Renee, cough. It's 7 p.m., time for bed. More coughing. Pack up your toys and hurry to your room. Yes, Grandma. Every day, Grandma makes me go to bed early and locks the door shut. I don't understand that. <laughs> um, I doubt I've mentioned this, but I actually hate dolls. Um, like this doll? That one creeps me the fuck out. The one on the shelf creeps me the fuck out. Can't I grab that one? Whatever. The fake bird creeps me the fuck out. So what next? Mommy, you will always be loved. Don't like that. A little bit ominous. It's that dream again. I can't sleep. Now that I think of it, I didn't hear any locking sounds. Did Grandma not lock the door today? Grandma's been coughing a lot today. Is Grandma feeling unwell? This game does take a surprising... Okay, never mind. Um, I'll check if the door is really locked. Maybe I can go back to the doll room to play. Hold space under objects to hide, interact, space to interact, map, and options. I mean, she doesn't hide very well, let's be honest. Just the map. someone's bedroom and I can hide. Why is the window open? Pur a purple glass bottle. Why can't I take it? I want to take it. I want it. So I'm not going to remember that that's there. And why is the window? It's not open, but it looks, the curtain looks like it is. Okay. That's her room. And then Oh my god. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Grandma has some explaining to do. 
Grandma sleeps in the attic. Okay, Grandma. What would, what could grandma be doing this late at night? Is the door open now? Wait, then where was she? Okay, um... See, as soon as I saw that room full of mirrors and creepy ass fucking. Uh, did Grandma drop that? Grandma's tour note. An offering for the three dolls one drop of green, two drops of red, one drop of purple, two drops of yellow. And you give the big shelf in the living room a knock. <laughs> Hi. not safe now yet. Let's go. <laughs> Becky? Nope. I'm out. Bye. Go back to sleep. I think I heard the thing. Oh god. Hi, Becky! <laughs> How are you? Okay, that's a nightmare. Um, what now? If this girl had... Take it. If she had any sense. She would leave. Can I hide in here? Matcha. A wooden toy resembling a lovebird, but with what looks like a cut on one of its cheeks made, made it unique. But the question is, was the scar given or received? Angel doll. This doll was a gift from Renee's mother. So I don't think I can actually hide in this room. Mama used to read these to me before bedtime. Do I actually have to use the... yeah. Book of Colored Spirits. Once upon a time, there lived a sorcerer. He practiced a dark and uncommon magic, and all the people in the village avoided him. He was lonely and sad, and moved to live alone by the hillside. Jesus, okay. The sorcerer used his powers to create five colored spirits. The blue, the yellow, the red, the purple, and the green. They lived. They filled his dull and lonely life with color, and he was more joyful again. There was a group of royalty in the country. They were no smarter than anyone, but held their noses high and snobbish. They feared the power of dark magic, that it would take away their positions. And so they sent many guards to patrol the villages. Anybody caught with the use of dark magic were to be locked up immediately. Upon hearing the news, the sorcerer was shocked, but most of all he worried for the colored spirits he had grown close with. In a panic state, he created five colored bottles and hurriedly placed them into different bottles. The blue spirit in the red bottle, the yellow spirit in the green bottle, the red spirit in the yellow bottle, the purple spirit in the blue bottle, and the green spirit in the purple bottle. I'm taking a picture of this. If my phone wants to work. Because I know this is going to be important, and I know I'm not going to remember it. With a quick change of clothes, the sorcerer grabbed the five bottles with him. He abandoned his home, setting off on a new journey disguised as a wine merchant. The Book of Three. 
Three curious girls, Lala, Lulu, and Lily, decided to leave their homes to go up on a mysterious pink mountain. The path up the mountain was fun. The three good friends side by side chatted merrily through the twisting and turning of the road. Right before sunset, a thick fog enveloped the pathway, the trees in the forest, and they could hardly see anything. As they couldn't see less and less, the three girls got more and more afraid. Let's hold hands, piped up Lulu, who was right in the middle. Reaching up her left arm, Lulu pulled Lily close to her. Feeling more reassured, Lulu then reached out her right arm to pull Lala, but she couldn't find Lala's hands, no matter how much she felt around in the fog. Lulu spun to look at her right, and her jaws dropped. A pale woman with long hair, black eyes, and an abnormally wide smile stared right back at her. Lily, on the other hand, was staring straight ahead of her, at the terrifying sight of her friend Lala hanging in the trees together with many others. Oh, I can't hide in the room. The, th the bad three girls who decided to leave their homes to explore the mysterious mountain got punished dearly. Okay. Oh, I see the girls right there. Isn't Oopsie Daisy. The yellow bottle. The storeroom. How was that sound? The blue bottle. Each girl gets one. Oh, that was creepy. I don't know if she's coming. There's the red bottle. Yeah. Let's go this way. Okay, we're gonna just stop here.